Have you ever wondered how your surroundings affect your mood? It's a question that might sound simple on the surface, but the answer is as complex as the human brain itself. Our surroundings or environment play a vital role in shaping our mood and emotions. This is because our brain is constantly perceiving and responding to the elements around us. Everything from the colors we see, the sounds we hear, to the people we interact with can influence how we feel. Let's delve a bit deeper to understand this. Imagine you're walking in a bustling city street full of noise, traffic and a sea of people. Your brain is bombarded with stimuli, the honking cars, the chattering crowd, the towering buildings. All these stimuli are processed by your brain, leading to a response. You might feel stressed, anxious or simply overwhelmed. Now, think about sitting in a quiet park with lush green trees, the sound of birds chirping and a gentle breeze brushing against your skin. This serene environment sends different stimuli to your brain. You may feel calm, relaxed and at peace. In both situations, it's the same you and the same brain, but the mood changes because the environment changes. The stimuli that your brain receives and processes are different, leading to a different emotional response. But why does this happen? Well, it all boils down to our brain's inherent ability to adapt and respond to our environment. It's a survival mechanism that has been hardwired into us since the dawn of humanity. Our ancestors had to constantly evaluate their surroundings for threats and opportunities which influenced their mood and behavior. While our environments have drastically changed since then, our brains continue to respond in a similar fashion. Understanding the connection between our environment and our mood is the first step in harnessing this knowledge to improve our emotional well-being. By creating environments that stimulate positive emotional responses, we can effectively manage our moods and enhance the quality of our lives. So, the next time you're feeling down, take a look around. Your surroundings might just hold the key to improving your mood. Do you know that colors can greatly influence your mood? Immerse yourself in the fascinating world of color psychology, a field of study that explores how hues can impact our emotions and behaviors. Each color on the spectrum can evoke a unique emotional response, subtly shaping our moods and perceptions. Let's start with the color red. It's a hue that demands attention, often associated with energy, passion, and intensity. You might feel a surge of adrenaline when you see red, which could be why it's frequently used in stop signs and fire trucks. On the other end of the spectrum, we have blue. This color tends to promote feelings of tranquility and calm. It's reminiscent of a clear sky or a peaceful ocean wave, making it an ideal color for spaces where you want to relax or concentrate. Now consider the color yellow. It's bright, cheerful, and often associated with happiness and optimism. However, too much yellow can be overwhelming and even lead to feelings of frustration. It's all about balance. Meanwhile, green, much like blue, is generally calming. It's the color of nature symbolizing growth, harmony, and freshness. It's no surprise that many people find solace in a lush green landscape. Then there's the color black, often linked with power, elegance, and mystery. But too much black can evoke feelings of sadness or negativity. White, on the other hand, is associated with purity, innocence, and simplicity. It can create a sense of space and openness. Lastly, let's not forget about purple. This color is generally linked with royalty, luxury, and wisdom. It can spark creativity, making it a popular choice for artists and innovators. However, it's important to remember that individual responses to color can vary based on personal experiences and cultural backgrounds. What may elicit joy in one person might evoke sadness in another. This just scratches the surface of color psychology. There's a whole rainbow of emotions waiting to be explored. So, the next time you're in a room, take a moment to notice the colors around you. How do they make you feel? So the colors that surround you can play a significant role in shaping your mood. Did you know that your physical environment, like your home or office layout, can affect your mood? Let's delve into this a bit more. Picture yourself in a room filled with clutter where you can barely see the floor. How does it make you feel? Overwhelmed? Anxious? Researchers have actually found a strong link between clutter and increased levels of stress and anxiety. It's not just about being neat or tidy, but about creating an environment that allows your mind to relax and focus. On the flip side, imagine yourself in a spacious room with lots of open areas. Doesn't it feel freeing? Open spaces can actually foster creativity and positivity, giving you room to think and breathe. So, if you're feeling boxed in, it might be worth considering a change in your physical environment. Now, let's talk about nature. 
Have you ever noticed how a walk in the park or a moment spent admiring a beautiful landscape can instantly lift your spirits? That's because nature has a profound impact on our mood. The sight of greenery, the sound of birds chirping, the smell of fresh air thighs, these natural elements can reduce stress, increase happiness and even improve concentration. But what if you can't go outside? You can still bring elements of nature into your space, a house plant or two perhaps. Not only do plants purify the air, but they also have been shown to reduce stress and boost mood. And let's not forget about natural light. A sunlit room can make a world of difference to your mood. Research shows that exposure to natural light can improve sleep, boost mood and increase productivity. So draw those curtains back, let the sunlight in and see the difference it makes. In essence, your physical environment plays a significant role in your mental health. An organized, clean space with natural elements can enhance your mood and overall well-being. So, the next time you're feeling down, take a look around. Could a change in your surroundings be the pick-me-up you need? Creating a comfortable, organized space can be a simple but effective way to enhance your mood. Ever noticed how the people around you can influence how you feel? This is a fascinating aspect of our social surroundings and it has a profound impact on our mood. Let's start by acknowledging that we are social creatures. From the moment we're born, we're hardwired to interact with others. These interactions, whether they're positive or negative, have a significant effect on our mood. Imagine walking into a room filled with laughter, smiles and light-hearted conversations. Even if you were feeling down, the positive energy in the room would likely lift your spirits. This is because human beings have a natural tendency to mirror the emotions of those around them, a phenomenon known as mood contagion. When you're surrounded by positivity, your mood tends to shift in that direction. On the flip side, negative interactions can bring us down. If you've ever been in the presence of someone who's angry or upset, you may have felt your own mood darken. Negative emotions can be just as contagious as positive ones. Empathy, the ability to understand and share the feelings of others, plays a critical role in this process. When we empathize with someone who's happy, we feel happier. When we empathize with someone who's sad, we feel sadder. It's a subconscious process that happens without us even realizing it, but it's not all doom and gloom. This understanding of social surroundings and mood can be used to our advantage. We can choose who we spend our time with. We can choose to surround ourselves with people who uplift us, inspire us, and make us feel good about ourselves. Remember, it's not about avoiding people who are going through a tough time. Rather, it's about being aware of how these interactions affect us and taking steps to balance our social surroundings. In conclusion, our social environment is a powerful force that shapes our mood. Positive interactions can make us feel happier, while negative interactions can bring us down but the power to choose our social surroundings lies within us. Choosing to surround yourself with positive, supportive people can help maintain a positive mood. Now that we understand how our surroundings affect our mood, what can we do to enhance our mood through our environment? The environment we create for ourselves has a profound impact on our mood and overall sense of well-being. Here are some effective strategies for improving your mood through your environment. Firstly, let's discuss color. Colors can evoke a range of emotions from calm to excitement. Consider incorporating your favorite colors into your surroundings. If you love the calmness of blue, add some blue elements to your space. If the energy of red makes you happy, splash some red around. The key is to surround yourself with colors that uplift your spirits. Next, consider decluttering your space. A cluttered environment can lead to a cluttered mind, which may result in feelings of stress and overwhelm. By simply tidying up, you can create a more serene and inviting environment, promoting feelings of calm and relaxation. Now let's turn our attention to nature. Increasing your exposure to nature can have a positive impact on your mood. If you can't spend time outdoors, you can bring nature to you. Consider adding some houseplants to your space or even just pictures of natural landscapes. The sight of greenery and nature can soothe the mind and uplift the mood. Lastly, consider your social environment. Surround yourself with positive, uplifting people who inspire you and make you feel good about yourself. Remember, the company you keep can greatly impact your mood and overall happiness. It's important to note that everyone is unique and what works for one person may not work for another. Experiment with these strategies and see what works best for you. Remember, your environment is more than just the physical space around you. It includes the people you interact with, the colors that surround you, and even the state of your home or workspace. 
By making small changes in your surroundings, you can significantly influence your mood and overall well-being. So why not start making those changes today and see the difference it can make in your daily mood and overall life?